Hello, I'm Michael Murphy. I'm here to show you the Humminbird and the Minn Kota Trova iPilot link and how they communicate with each other. So what I'm using it for is for bass fishing on Lake Murray catching schooling fish. I'm going to show you how to use it correctly and how to keep you on spot and to effectively fish a spot without getting off of it or getting uh, out of alignment because as you know uh, when you're fishing these schooling fish it is critical to hit the right angle and be on the right cast and if you're off by five feet one of the way or the other it's uh, you'll you'll miss out so anyway I'm going to show you how to lay an eye track well the first thing you got to know is the eye track that you're laying is on your spots that you have already pre-marked are these actual where you caught to fish like were they underneath the boat or uh, a cast away or are those specific brush piles if those are like specific brush piles like for instance here I wouldn't necessarily drive right over it because you may want to fish it right now so set a casting ring and you can do that by hitting menu twice go to navigation and you got an option for casting ring set that to 60 to 70 feet so you're a good cast distance away in this case I have placed these waypoints when I was casting towards this point of where my boat was sitting so you don't want to necessarily you know, be out on your just regular trolling motor and then drift over here and possibly be on top of the school. So I want to effectively lay an eye track to where it keeps me off of the school of fish, but I can fish it. So the way you do that is you hit menu, go to waypoints, racks, routes, and tracks, and go options, new, and it's going to have an option that says new eye track. Now you can lay these. Uh, these eye tracks even without a Tarova hooked up to your boat just a regular four tracks or whatever so when you do invest in one down the road or you put it on your boat at a later date you can run this stuff so I want a new uh, new eye track it's already started okay so best thing to do turn on your big motor and now I'm gonna idle through these waypoints and it's usually best to idle through first this way you don't um, you don't have a bunch of uh, back and forth so it's nice and smooth when you're on your track you can go right through the spot I'm gonna zoom in a little bit I want to get as close to this as I can go ahead and turn the wheel I got my directional arrow to my next spot Okay, now I've laid my eye track and I'm going to go a little bit past it where I want to be. Menu and stop recording eye track. Confirm, save current eye track, yes. And there we go. Alright, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay an eye track on a point that I've never fished yet. And um, just a quick way to cover water. Go to the waypoint, go new new eye track okay it's already started so I want to keep my boat at roughly 20 to 25 foot on these schooling fish so I have got my uh, my depth contour to 15 so I'm going to change that to 25 to help there you go so I'm going to keep it right on the color change so that's going to help me right around the end of this point I'm laying this eye track just idling by now I'm not really idling where the fish are sitting I'm idling out a cast distance from where I'm going to want to be casting so I want to keep it you know when they school and fish 25 to 30 foot and you're going to be casting up to 15 to 20 So now that I've gone past the end of it,
Oh, there it is. Stop recording eye track. It's going to ask you to save it. Say yes. And we'll turn it around. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Well, you can kind of see where I just sidled through. I'm going to get the trolling motor in the water. That's what I'm using. And it's got the uh, high pilot link right here. This head, it's an aftermarket. It goes on the Trova. You buy it and install. So I got it connected to all these um, all these graphs. So here I am. So you want to go to go to eye track. It's going to pick up the closest one. It's got one that's 518 feet. And one that's 16. Now I've got the end real close to me, so I want to go to the beginning, so the start. I'm going to tell it to go to the start, activate it, and give it a speed. I'm going to give it about two and a half. And it's just that simple. This is great. It's a great tool for fishing offshore. It's great for fishing in the wind, and you don't even have to worry about running the trolling motor anymore when you're fishing like I'm doing offshore. You just worry about fishing. And that's the Minn Kota iPilot Link on the Minn Kota Tarova. You got to check it out.